Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of UFIT TV. Today I'm recording episode 29 um, with our newest team member here, uh, David. And David is actually currently living a ketogenic lifestyle. So a lot of you I know are asking about what's the keto diet, what does that mean, what does it look like, and what type of results would I get if I did it now. Remember, this is not something that you fit coaches. Uh, this is just as we have people who, who try different lifestyles and, and live different things, you know, we want to share the information with you. We want to share, you know, what they've experienced. And so I asked David if he'd mind jumping on with us today and talking to us about the keto diet. So uh, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Uh, it's pretty awesome to have you on the team and obviously here on UFIT TV as well. Um, so first, you know, what made you decide to try this whole ketogenic diet? I started hearing about the ketogenic diet on a podcast, actually, the Joe Rogan Experience. And at the time, I had put on a little weight that I wasn't happy with, and I heard that it is a, an effective way to not only increase your energy level, but to lose body fat. And that made me very interested in it. Okay, cool. And, you know, would you say that when you, when you first started, it was, you loved it? You hated it? It was indifferent? A love-hate relationship? <laughs> first starting off eating more fat was difficult. The diet is high fat, low carb, moderate protein. Okay. So eating more fat seemed like it was the crazy thing to eat. But when you start to adapt, you go through that adaptation phase, the energy level starts to pick up more and it became it becomes much more easy to okay. keep eating that way. Okay. Now I'm not, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not hundred percent sure how it works, right? Um, or why it works, but I know a lot of people are asking, you know, what is the purpose of the ketogenic lifestyle? What is the purpose of the ketogenic diet? Like, how does, how does it work? So most people grow up, they use carbohydrates or glucose as energy. Mm -hmm. The ketogenic diet, you're, like I said, you're eating high fat, so you're going to take that fat, it's gonna be metabolized by the liver, and you're gonna create something called ketones. Ketones are gonna replace the glucose, and you're gonna use that as a fuel source. Okay. There's still parts of the body that need to use glucose, parts of the brain, your blood sugar, obviously, but the body will get sugar where it needs it. You're just still going to be eating carbohydrates, but the energy source has changed. Okay. And, and do you know what the benefit of changing energy, energy sources is? I, it's, I don't want to say it's a cleaner energy source, but it okay. seems to be more, more impactful. That, that's the sustainable. Maybe. Sustainable. Okay. Got it. Um, throughout the day, uh, if you're eating a carb diet, you might have uh, crashes and burns events, of throughout the day with the ketogenic diet. I have not noticed that since I started. I've been doing this since October last year. I have not experienced that since I've done that, except on days when I have a carb meal to re kind of refuel and re take a break from it. Okay, cool. Now, would you say that you're, this is something you're going to stay on for the rest of your life, or do you feel like it's something you may phase in and out of? I may swing back and forth between a higher carb diet and a ketogenic diet. I may still favor the high fat. Okay. The beneficial thing about the high fat diet is that it's very satiating. So okay. you're gonna feel fuller longer. So if you're uh, trying to track your calories, you're gonna naturally eat less because you're gonna feel full longer. Got it. Okay, cool. Um, tell us what the hardest part of starting it was. Uh, the hardest part is the adaptation phase. For me, it took a week. For some people, it could take up to a month. I've heard that wow. it could be longer, but the key is to make sure you're staying strict and you're getting your electrolytes. The ketogenic diet, when you're eating more fat, it flushes your electrolytes. So magnesium, potassium, and sodium are very important. Do you take those as a supplement, or do you? I take a magnesium supplement. Okay. Um, it's just a pill I take. Then uh, potassium comes from avocados. So okay. you kill two birds with one stone, fat and right. uh, potassium. And then sodium, I just use salt on my, on my meals, and then nuts and seeds that are salted. Okay, awesome, very cool. Anything else that you want to tell our viewers about the ketogenic diet before we wrap it up today? Uh, if you're interested in trying it, don't go. The, the ketogenic diet has been used for studies in epilepsy and helping with Alzheimer's and cancer patients and diabetes. Do not go the high route on 80% fat. Stay on the lower side of 70%. When you're saying low carb, that's net carbohydrates. So if you're eating something that has a lot of fiber, like an avocado, has 10 grams of fiber, 13 total carbohydrates, so it's only net carbohydrates that you're concerned you're adding with. adding three, yes. basically. Okay, got it. Awesome. Cool. Again, thank you for being with us today. Uh, this was episode 29 of UFIT TV. Uh, again, here with David, and he was telling us about the ketogenic lifestyle. So, uh, again, check us out next week. We'll have lots more to come, lots more exciting things happening here at UFIT, and hopefully more information that will help you reach your fitness goals. 
Have a great day. Take care.